Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, make sure you go ahead and pop that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And yeah, <laughs> so here goes, here goes. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be mine? Um, so today, huh, I wonder if I should have turned it that way so you guys could have seen the big babies over there, but don't worry about it. Um, anyway, today I have baby Phoebe out <laughs> in the nursery. She's usually in my room. She has her spot there and she pretty much stays there. Um, I've been giving her a passy a little bit, but she don't really need it. But I do like to give her a passy. You like passies? So, um, yeah, so Phoebe is a full body silicone baby she is uh, sculpted and poured by Claire Teller um, she is from the Willow Awake uh, kit she is a kit so she's poured in soft uh, silicone she has elbow armatures um, very soft elbow armatures I love that's the thing like I guess I've been spoiled to that part I love the way her armatures work they're very soft they're very soft they're very you don't really like feel them feel them you can feel in there and eventually and it just kind of feel like a, a little bone in there but not where you can actually feel like a hard wire like it feels like you have a hanger in it or something like that you don't feel like it's going to poke through any moment type thing um but i'll be honest with you guys sometimes i'm almost willing to take the risk with the harder armatures than to have some of the babies that have like weird positions like their arms are just straight down like that i it it bothers my my psyche so um i prefer to have the armatures if if need be um i know everybody have to find their way on what you know what type of materials they need to use and stuff like that so i don't expect everybody work to be exactly the same because if that's the case people would judge me based off of people that's way above my pay grade and my um my level of expertise uh so or skill set because i don't think i'm an expert or nothing but mm, never mind but anyway um so but yeah so I really love that about her and I really love the soft, the soft silicone and um, I I just, I've been working like crazy but then I have not been working like crazy. So part of me been working like crazy like with my dolls and then part of me been working on non-doll stuff that's been very time consuming and some somewhat a little frustrating but I tell you what this hobby really reels me back in and get me all hyped up and feeling great um I always make these big plans of things that I want to do and then sometimes I put too much on my plate and I just never can do it I think I can do it it's like I think I can I think I can I think I can so one of the things I was laughing about the other day and I was going to do a little skit on this but <laughs> but I'm just going to tell you guys because I be thinking of some crazy stuff sometimes like I get a lot of messages guys I get um so on Facebook Messenger, I get like tons of messages through there a day. And on Instagram, I get tons of messages there. And then my email. But like sometimes I don't get to get through all of them. But when I get to some of them, they be like hilarious. And sometimes I, some stuff people say, it be like making me like feel like, are you serious right now? So one of the things I, I was thinking about... I don't even know what triggered this thought. Oh, yeah, I know. Um, I seen in someone's post where the person commented in the section message me about a baby that was up for sale. And so, you know, I just, you know, buying and selling can be so crazy and complex and difficult. One thing that may bother one person may not bother another person and vice versa. So we never know you know you can't really do a straight black and white do's and don'ts so to speak some stuff i think you could feel your way through but i really feel like a lot of people feel some type of way when when um you don't res you don't respond to their 
message like that like if you drop a message in somebody comment section and say message me nine times out of ten that seller is never gonna message you sweetie they're never gonna message you and I'm gonna tell you why it's not because <coughs> sorry <coughs> itchy throat not itchy throat oh gosh y'all don't don't get crazy I'm good but um one of the reasons why um, I think that people um, don't message people back like that is because, for one, they're usually getting messages sent to them and they're trying to handle those. So they get more incoming and they're not doing as much outgoing. Like, And the other thing is people won't take you serious like because most collectors were aggressive by default. Like, we know what the game is out here, especially if you've been collecting a while. We know there's no such thing as message me. We, we know you got to hit that DM for that artist to take you serious and know that you're about that life, that you really want this baby or you're seriously thinking about it or considering it. A lot of people don't want to be, like, messaging people or whatever the case may be um, to because people be like, oh, she messaged me about buying the baby late, but you put it in my comment section to message you. Okay, you're a little narcissist, but okay. You know, but, um, so it's so many different things that happen in the community that makes people react the way they react. The other thing is, is that if you're just gonna, in passing, put message me type thing, then, again, you're not really that serious about wanting to buy the baby you if you're really wanting to buy the baby you want to have a private conversation because are you going to do your full transaction in public like no are you going to go to you know um the dms and put your paypal in i mean the comments and put your paypal in front. so if you're really serious you need to message private message that person and let them know the other thing is people say this all the time to me and this is something that Sometimes, every now and then, I'm feeling like I, I, you know, my mind is good and I got a good brain, and I'd be like, okay, I'll da 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 da, I'll I'll do it. A lot of times, people say, um, oh, message 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 you and say, let me know when you have babies available, or let me know when this particular baby becomes available. Well, here's the thing: you say that six other people said it, then I can't remember who said it first, who all said it. And then your message is pushed all the way to the bottom of my list because other messages have came in since then. I don't remember. Or when you message these people, a lot of times they're like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, but yeah, I already bought something. Or they be like, oh, that's cute. Like, but yeah, um, I just bought a baby. Like, and sometimes, you know, us collectors we move on fast like and I understand this like I trust me I'm not talking about nobody on this one because listen I could go and drop in your inbox and be like hey how much is this baby I want to buy it but then you take three hours and so and so just put up a baby for sale and guess what I bought that baby so now you message me so I know it's possible for it to happen, but it'd be so funny when like someone be like, oh my God, I love this baby. Like when you say it's not available, oh, I love this baby. I want that baby. Let me know when it's available. Five minutes later, hey girl, I decided to go ahead and let this baby go. Oh man, yeah. I was kind of more looking for the open eye baby. Like, so... So you did all that and then okay and then be like but message me when you do so and so and so no 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 i'm not falling for that trick again like i already messaged you once you said no 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 so next time how about you follow the feed like follow the hello follow 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 <laughs> <laughs> so it's funny. It's hard though. It's hard being a buyer. It's hard being a seller. And I, for one, don't really believe in, in time waster situations unless it gets all the way to the point of me sending you an invoice and then you kind of be like, um, no, don't pay it and never, 
never even respond or anything else just let it sit or something like that like it's very very it takes a lot for me to consider a person a time waster because here's the thing this hobby is very expensive even the most lesser uh doll a car or price doll is still expensive for this hobby so even if it's three hundred dollars it's a three hundred dollar doll that's very expensive okay and um i think that people are entitled to think it over i think people are entitled to ask questions i think people are entitled to let stuff soak in i don't feel like i don't like when artists be like or sculptors artists sculptors or whatever be like well i'm i'm you know like some people are just letting you know so you'll be informed hey these are going pretty quickly so you know no rush but keep in mind you know i've already sold five it's only seven left you know or seven you know in total and da da da, da it's only two left whatever whatever you know then that's different but then sometimes some people are like oh yeah if you really want this like i'm not selling no more this is the last one six months later i have three more spots for carriage george but you was almost out <laughs> like you know like i don't like that car man you know the, the car dealership salesman part type sale approach like they like pressure you to to make a quick fast decision listen the other day i was um messaging somebody about a kit and um she was like she i i asked her what what was you know she because she said she said in her post message me dm me for details so i dm for details like okay what is the deal you know type thing and when I messaged for the deal, <laughs> the details, she sent me the details. But by the time I, you know, I was trying to narrow down which one I wanted, she was like, oh, they're, I think they're also, damn it. Like the one time I decided to think about a purchase that was a really good purchase, I moved too slow. You think I was mad with her? Like, absolutely not. Like, she's doing business. If somebody else is not asking questions like, give me that one, that one, that one, and they figure it out later, then, hey, they they did what they had to do. And that's the thing about a lot of times, like, people do budget babies and stuff. Yeah, you, people will sit there and they'll have a lot of questions, but just know while you're asking questions, someone's paying. And that's how it goes. But... It's not fun when it happens to you. Like, if you're the seller, you're like, yes, easy sell, good. I ain't got to go through all this. Show me a safety pitch. Put your feet in there. <laughs> like, birdie baby say, put your whole toe in there. Whatever she was saying one day. Like, oh, I need to see her arm. I need to see her. Listen, by the time you get, you ain't had to go through all that. Because by the time, you know, a lot of people that follow the same people all the time, they kind of know, okay, this person legitimately how this doll she just showed it on youtube yesterday or she posted a thousand pictures of this baby every day so i've seen every inch of this doll like let's get to it i'm ready to buy you know they don't have no questions like that like i have actually literally sold some of my most high-end dolls with people saying i don't need to see anything i've already seen them on your videos or whatever and it's like but sometimes I'll be like, oh, well, let me just send you a video anyway. Or let me send you a picture anyway. Pictures anyway. Just to cover myself. But a lot of times, people don't be caring about as much as we think. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't. I'm not saying that you shouldn't. Especially if you're not very, you know, experienced in buying and selling or have done business with that particular person before. So... Yeah, but it's just funny. It's like, we be moving on quick, boy. It be like, um, yeah, I want that. I want that. I, like, almost 90% of the time, the people that ask me to buy a particular baby are not the babies, not the people that end up getting the doll when it goes up for sale. So, but I don't think that they're time wasters. I think that they thought about it and decided that wasn't the one that they wanted for whatever reason or this wasn't the time for them or maybe they were gonna sacrifice something for that baby but they decided 
they can do it type thing. So, like, I'm very careful with how I, you know, pe mark people as time wasters. Because this, this, like I said, I keep saying this hobby is very expensive. And me, I am a very, very cautious shopper. As much as I buy babies, I'm very cautious. But there are times that I realize just now recently that I, because... <laughs> <laughs> because I know how like when people come to me and ask me for like um why am I talking like this something wrong with me like my I don't know but anyway I must be watching somebody video or something and my voice is like mimicking their voice it's irritating me I'm really crazy but um so like sometimes like when people mess when people like message me and that happens to them, like they are like asking me like 101 questions and somebody else come and buy the doll and pay for it. Like, I don't feel bad, bad, but then I'd be like, dang. But then I, because I, it happens so much with me that when I, you know, is are dealing with certain people with babies that I really, really like or want, Sometimes I found myself like buying the baby before I ask the important questions. And then I'm like, oh Lord, what's going to happen if the answer is the wrong answer? <laughs> then I'm going to have to like be like, no, 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 but it'd be too late because I already paid. So my last two babies that I bought, like I liked them a lot. And I was like, like, okay, let's say for instance, my clicker baby. I liked her like very a lot like and i was talking to her like a little bit but as i was talking out my head kept saying in my this little 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 oh skanky scammy heifer in the corner of my head she um i shouldn't say scammy because go out y'all guys but yeah but she was she was like in my head going Okay, keep asking questions. She gonna come back and tell you it's sold. That's what she's typing right now. It's already sold, so you better make a decision. So I just said, okay, I'll buy it, you know. And then afterwards, I was like, so is her legs, like, can I see better photos, like, of her legs? Like, because I was afraid that the legs were, like, too, too short, you know, or whatever. And uh, they were going to be awkward or something. So it was like... After I already paid for the doll, then I asked like the important questions because I was so afraid that she was going to get sold before I actually buy her. So that happened. And then the other baby, the last baby that's coming that you guys haven't seen yet, I I don't know what got into me. Like I was like, when she told me the price, I was like, okay. And then afterwards I was like, okay. Well, I did first ask like, are they the same limbs as the original sculpt? Da, 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 da. I did ask that one question, and then that after that I was just like, okay, I'm, I'm buy it. And then afterwards I was like, oh my gosh, is it full arms or full legs? Like I don't know nothing. Like then I asked that after I paid. Like it's just, it was just crazy. So um, I don't know. Like you know, and and that's not that's not being cautious. That's like being stupid in a way, cause. Like, you should always ask the important questions beforehand. Like, I was like, please, 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 when I was talking to Angela, like, please, please, please say yes, say, give me the right answer. So when she sent me additional photos, I was like, oh, yes, okay, I can live with this. And then it was like, I asked one more question or something like that, and she was like, yeah, da, 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 da. And it was like, okay, whew. It's like, please say, please say the right thing. Please say the right thing. Like, the other baby was like, it's a good. And I had already made up in my mind. I was like, if it's three fourth arms, I'll be okay. Or whatever. Three fourth arms and legs, I'll be okay. I'll just, I'll deal with it, you know. The baby is gorgeous. It's okay, you know. But in my head, I was like, please, please let us say it's full limbs. Please let us say it's full limbs. Because I should have asked that ahead of time. And I was like, what size is this baby? Please don't say preemie. Please don't say preemie. <laughs> it's like so crazy. But anyway, I got my babies. So the other one is, should be, you know, coming at some point. I I will find out. Um, hopefully today. What if when... Um, uh, she will come but 
yeah so it's it's you know even people that have been and and this is how i used to say now she been collecting for a long time she been collecting too long to make such a stupid mistake or why would she get herself in that type of situation knowing that i don't believe her because i mean you've been collecting all this time you know better than to do this or that or whatever the case may be but then here i am making foolish mistakes because this is what a lot of times this is what this hobby does to us and this is what some sellers actually prey on is impulsive buyers women by nature are impulsive buyers so you mix impulsive buying and like emotions into the whole situation you have created something better than crack like we we will buy something without even thinking if we actually have the money then go out and beg for a loan to pay for the <laughs> okay i don't do that so just so y'all know like, oh, that's what she doing uh, but we i'm serious like we be we will like we will buy a baby and say okay i'm gonna sell so and so later but let me get this baby first because i ain't got time to wait like we will do this stuff we will do anything to get these babies and a lot of sellers know that and then there's also that's that's where the scams come in and stuff too so you have to be cautious to an extent but especially if you don't want to be disappointed or you're a person that don't like to sell i hate selling at this point um a lot of times but it's necessary and it's something that has to be done so you know i have to do it but um yeah i just <laughs> I don't know um yeah so anyway that's just my random whole thoughts of the last few days of what I've been going through another thing I guess I will talk about it in another video because this is like very long but I am really really in a very weird pickle right now and we'll talk about that in the next video and I also will maybe share one more of the confession all right let me see if I can get off and turn this off so we can start a new clip. Ugh.